Welcome to my channel. In this particular session, I will be talking about implementation of selection sort using C. So already we have discussed what selection sort is. Let me revisit once again. Selection sort is one of the sorting techniques which is also based on brute force. As I was telling you brute force means we will going to check each of the every possible cases. right? So here as the name suggests selection, what exactly we will going to do is that we have a list of elements right say for example these are my list of elements I will going to scan and find out either the largest or the smallest element okay not only the largest and the smallest element but exactly where it is or the position of the largest and smallest so if you see here if I take an element 5 1 2 3 4 5 so largest element in position 3 okay so I will going to find out the largest element first once I got the largest element, okay, I will just place the element in the first location. Okay, I will just swap it. So if you, 78 will come here, 23 will go here. Next, again from next, okay, like say for example, now after this I got what? 78, 56, okay, 23, 2 and 5. Next, so I will going to find out the, from here, the next largest element. So next largest element is 56 only. Right? Okay. So once I get this, there is no swapping required. Either. For example, if this could have been like 59. Okay. Let me put it 59 here. Okay. So now the largest element is 59. So what I will going to do? 59 and 56 will be swapped. So now we will be having 58, 78, sorry, 59, 23, then 2 and 56. Okay, so now if you can, if you if, if you try to compare with bubble sort, bubble sort, what is each time I get the largest one, I'm simply swapping it, and swapping has been done. But here in selection sort, I am just finding out the largest element, okay, or it may be the smallest element, okay, largest element where which position it is. Then I am sitting with the first position. Then I am sitting uh, swapping with the second position like that. Okay, so. It, as per the same, I will going to have, you know, and if I n elements at n minus 1 pass. Now, what I will going to take, I take a variable max, okay, m a x, and I put max equal to i. That is the first element. Okay, then the second element, then the third element, the fourth element, the fifth element, because I am scanning like that, and I am putting the largest element at the beginning. So, max, I put it like this, okay. Then I start one another loop, okay. So that loop will going to start from where? The next element. So next element will give by whom? i plus 1. Because i first is 0. So next element will be i plus 1. Is 1. If i is 1, i plus 1, it will give me 2. Okay. And it will go till, j will go till n. Yes. The last element that I have to compare. Okay. And j plus plus. Okay. Done. I think this is clear. So, it starts from 0 to n minus 1, okay, till n minus 1, okay. Next, I will start from, if i value is, this is, okay, 0, that means this is 0 plus 1, okay, right. Next, i value is 1, then we will start from here, like that, okay. Now, what I have to do, I have to compare. If i array, okay, what, i array j, okay, is greater than i array max if it is then i will simply put max equal to j right so i am comparing this to so which is the max is this 23 Sorry, this will be, you know, ha, huh, J, yes. 56 is greater than 23. 56, J will be given I plus 1. That means 56. J maximum is 0, 23. So, is 56 greater than 23? Yes. So, now my maximum is J. J means maximum is now 1. Now, I go back. Okay. 
right j is incremented now j become here 78 now is 78 greater than max i max j value is this now right so is 78 greater than 56 yes now j value is now equal to you know 2 yes so in the second in, 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 in according to because i am talking about zero okay because the uh, array here start in in c implementation is zero so it, it is in the second position right next i go i will compare yes next element i will compare okay 78 7 done okay next i will compare with 2 is 2 greater than 78 no okay is 56 greater than 78 no so i got the max value at position 2 right now what i have to do i have to shift this okay swap this here so i write here now okay temp temp equal to okay temp equal to i array i yes correct now i array i will be equal to i array max yes so i array how now it is zero i array max is this so i'm swapping and then i'll lastly i will have to put i array max equal to array max equal to 10 yes so now i have taken 23 store I taken 23 stored in a temporary variable then 78 I've swapped it to here 23 then from temporary variable I went to bring back to here in 23 so I hope it is clear again I'm repeating so max I consider I so it will be 0 so I can see that this element at the maximum right next I will start scanning from 56 because I plus 1 okay 0 plus 1 is 1 now I say 56 is it greater than max max is nothing but 23 yes so now the max becomes j means the value of j is 1 so max is 1 now i go up j is incremented to 2 okay now i will see 2 this is 78 yes is it greater than max max is 56 now yes 78 is greater now max value is 2 Now j is incremented and we have now coming to 2. Now is 2 is greater than max 78? No. Is 59 greater than 78? No. Right? So I got the maximum position is, is this 2. Okay? Now what I said the first element. So I stored in the temporary and then in that first position I, I add a max. So that means 78 is stored here. Okay? And then again in the max position I am storing 23 and that is how it is the entire you know selection sort has been executed so let me run and see so okay so i'm giving it yeah how many elements five elements okay so the first element is 23 then 56 78 2 59 and you can see I got the element in sorted form 78, 59, 56, 23, 2. Right? Okay. So the entire element is selected. Now I can change this to minimum also. If I say this is minimum, I said this is minimum. Okay. So let me say this is min. Then this will be this will be mean okay now this will change this will change now I have been here okay now I'll be having here mean okay now here I will be having mean okay so I'm getting now the minimum value and putting it here so it will be in the ascending order right and then I change the variable this to be as mean. Just I need to change this and I'm changing the name of the variable because I'm finding out the mean. Okay. So again array 
okay five elements so now we have 23 56 78 2 59 so what I should get 2 23 56 59 and 78 so I got it 2 23 56 59 and 78 so that's what the selections are we are selecting the position okay of the minimum or the maximum element and then simply I'm putting it in the first location the minimum and the maximum value. then I will put in the next one okay then I'll put in the next one and that's how the entire you know selection sort get executed okay so I hope you have understood selection sort okay so please do keep uh, watching my videos uh, and please do subscribe and share with your friends thank you so much